So in a world where cars are getting smarter and smarter with cool tech readouts and video game like statistics, sometimes we do want a few of those cool features in our existing cars, but don't want to pay the cash for big expensive head units or basically buying a brand new car. So today we'll show you how to add these smart kind of car features to your existing car thanks to this little OBD2 adapter. So the first thing you obviously need is one of these guys, an OBD2 adapter. Now mine costs a couple bucks at the local auto store and honestly does a really good job, but I've left some links down below if you want to pick some up online. Also too, before you do pick up one of these guys, you'll also do need to make sure that your car has support for an OBD2 reader because, well, if you can't plug one of these guys in, there's no real point in actually buying one and then this is probably useless for you. But today I grabbed myself the Response PP2145 reader, which is this little guy right here, that runs through Bluetooth connectivity for our phones right here. So rather than using screens and stuff built into the car, we'll be using our mobile phones to go ahead and give us the same type of functionality. Now, top of this will also do need to grab ourselves some apps to actually read the data because you can Bluetooth it together but unless we can actually display the data in a meaningful way it's not really gonna mean too much for us so I grabbed myself a phone as well as talk light and dash both of these apps are free and can be found in the Google Play Store and I believe also to the App Store uh, on the Apple side so you should be pretty much ready to go either way now I picked up these two apps because both of them were obviously free and they also do had paid options for more advanced features but both of them offered the same kind of connectivity in two different ways. Where Talk Light allows you to see dials and sort of analog kind of ways of viewing data, and Dash allows you to see it in a more video game and more modern type of interface. Taking a look at the B-roll right here, we do see quite a difference between the two different applications. However, both of them will allow us to read check engine lights and also to clear them if that is a problem. So not only do we get apps to monitor what our car's doing and give us data and feedback, but also do can fix things like check engine lights that can be pretty expensive for some stores to actually go ahead and clear, depending on where you live in the world. Just like these little readers, I've also too left the links to these apps down in that description box, as well as to a couple others if you want to pick up a few different ones. But today, again, we're focusing on Talk Light and also to Dash. So with that being said, let's jump outside and install this guy in our car. Now for this, the OBT2 reader is super simple to install. Simply take it outside, plug it into the port, and you are basically done at this point. It's just a simple plug and play thing. There's nothing you need to install or anything like that with your car. It's simply just plug it in and you are ready to go. Now most of the time, OBD2 readers will be on the driver's side, but different cars in different regions are kind of all over the place, so do a quick Google search to where it is. So for me in my 2006 Subaru Legacy Wagon, it will be right under the driver's side, sort of tucked up and hidden away. So if you have the same car, do have a bit of a fish round for it because it can be fairly hidden. But nevertheless, now that it's installed, we can fire up the car and open up our respected applications. The first thing we'll do is take a look at Talk Light. So Talk Light is one of the most sort of well-known type of applications even though its interface is a little bit well dated in its design so it works with a ton of different devices out there and really just gets the job done with no extra fills and spills so we're greeted with this welcome to talk our little page right here which we can go ahead and click OK and if your device is already paired up you should be ready to go on a screen similar to this however if you haven't paired your OBD2 port yet you can easily run through the setup or hit the gear icon like so and follow the settings to go ahead and actually connect to an OBD2 OBD2 reader. Again, depending on which OBD2 reader will depend on the settings you need to use, but for mine it was simple, plug and play, Bluetooth connectivity and I was all good to go. Now for me, when I set up Talklight, I went ahead and just put some dials on the first page and if we swipe over to the right hand side, I also too went ahead and put some line graphs for things like coolant, load, revs, air temp, intake and that kind of stuff that is fairly interesting to see. Now as I did mention, Talklight is more of a dial setup, so you're just getting dials in real time and it's actually really easy just to have a quick glance over there and see what is going on with your car that necessarily won't show up on the dash. If we go for a drive we can see that the dials do move around and actually display fairly decent information and well just give you everything you need to know about your engine and what's going on with your car in general without any sort of fluffing around. Overall the user interface and the usability of Torquelight is extremely simple and I definitely love having this app running because it's just simple to have a look at what is going on here. But moving on we'll have a look at Dash. Now Dash is a very different application to Talk Light. Again, whilst they both read engine codes and give you basically the same kind of information, Dash does it in a very nice and clean user interface. 
Now, as I've only recently installed Dash, it doesn't have a full set of information and has only had a couple trips here and there, but overall, it actually gives you some pretty good information. As well as that, both of these applications do work with kilometers and miles, so no matter where you live in the world, this will work perfectly for you. Obviously for me, I've it set up for living here in Australia with things like liters per hundred and kilometers instead of miles per gallon and miles. Set up for this application is extremely simple. Simply just click that connect button provided you are Bluetooth connected to the actual little reader and it automatically fills out everything and you are ready to go. You can set up a new car that will go ahead and hold the information for your trip. So if you do go to multiple different cars, you can go ahead and transfer that. But overall, I set it up for my car, which unfortunately wasn't there. So I had to pick a similar one, but nevertheless, it was pretty similar right there. I set it up and I was ready to go. Where Dash differs from Talk Lite other than the user interface is the amount of data and logging it can actually do. So not only will it tell you your liters per hundred, your trips and that kind of stuff, but will also to tell you things like how many liters you used in your last drive, your average speed, how long you drove for, the distance you drove for, and just so much more data like that. It's really awesome and actually pretty interesting to see. Now if that wasn't enough, it also too gives you a score on your driving of how eco you are, which surprisingly has gone up recently even though I haven't done too much good driving but there we go overall it is really awesome to see there it also too will compare you to many other drivers in a leaderboard kind of thing to see where you stack up in the driving rank and there's just so much you can do with this app that I just can't exactly cover in one video because this could have an entire video for itself it's really awesome to go ahead and see where you've been see what you're doing and exactly what you've been doing with your car and gives you a lot of the features that a lot of new modern and high-tech cars come out with in your hand which I really do love to see overall whichever app you do go down the line of, they're going to give you a ton of information that is really handy to have, just like what you may get in a lot of new modern cars. So there we go, making your car smarter and easier to get a whole bunch of data out of for a very low price tag. You can find these guys actually for really cheap in store and probably even cheaper online. For me, I really like the extra dials that Talk Lite actually delivers. And again, both of them do have pro and higher end feature models. They go ahead and either take out ads or give you more features. So there's definitely a lot more you could do if you did buy the full paid version. However, with that being said, there are so many other apps you can actually get on the market. It is actually pretty interesting to see what you can get. Though with that being said, do keep in mind that each reader will not necessarily work with every app on the market, so do make sure your reader will work with the codex and standards that the actual app will also to run on. Now it should go without saying that if you're not sure about what you're doing here, it's best to ask someone who does know what's going on, and any damage you do to your car is obviously your fault and not mine, because mine works perfectly fine, and yours, well, if it doesn't work, is definitely your fault. It is very simple to go ahead and do. Installation, again, is very simple just simply plug it in and you are ready to go and pairing it with your phone is also do pretty simple there again I've left links down in that description box to everything that I did use in this video so let me know what you think of these apps down in that comment section do you like them do you have a car and do you use them or do you think you're just not ever gonna use them otherwise guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one